Welcome back to Roddy's Rides. Uh, if you haven't already, go down, please like and uh, subscribe. If you haven't seen our last video, go ahead and go back and watch it. It's a uh, video over first few mods that you think or that you should do to your S197 Mustang. So, getting into the, uh, into today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I properly wash my car, given that I live in an apartment and I can't hand wash it like I used to back home. So, let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to start off with is actually a, uh, I, I don't remember where I learned this or saw this from, but this is Barkeeper's. So I don't remember where uh, I actually ended up picking up this secret or tip, but uh, Barkeeper's friend right here is great for uh, detailing your exhaust and makes it look almost brand new. So all you need is a uh, sponge, or right here I have some Scotch-Brite. This will work too, but uh, the double-sized sponge with the Scotch-Brite on top, I would say works the best. So all we have to do, apply a little, start scrubbing. Now just showing you, you can see a big difference. I still have some uh, material I need to clean up. But if you look at that compared to this, uh, it's the dummy pipes. So uh, dummy pipes. So ignore the clean one and the dirty one. But you can see the big difference. Now I always do this first so I can spray it off with water. So I'm going to knock out the other side real quick, and then we'll be going on to the next step. So next step would be dirty wheels. So um, with balling on a budget, I actually found this on TikTok. But um, this stuff. Dawn Power Wash is, first of all, a lot cheaper than any wheel and tire cleaner that I've seen. Each one is like $14 anywhere you go and like for a good brand. So the main thing is, is I've been using this stuff for the past probably three to four months and I've been cleaning my brakes, or my brakes, I've been cleaning my wheels with this stuff and I highly recommend it. Yes, it is not the stuff that every car show or maybe detailer uses but this stuff right here really does work so i spray it on my wheels and then the next step would be washing off the car with water just to get all the soap and stuff off so i hit it with uh the dawn dish soap first and then i come back to see any spots that i missed so i'm going to continue and i will show you what it looks like afterwards so now given in a little bit of time you can see how the soap starting to uh, disappear and run off the wheel so this is good so the next thing i like to do is so i have my bucket and i have my mitt so before everyone starts freaking out that i'm using this and i reuse it i actually uh, take this up to my uh, apartment and wash it in my washing machine just to help get all material and stuff that could be in it that's harmful to paint is it perfect no but this is what i've been doing because i'm balling on a budget so um, the next thing i'm going to do is if i can grab my chemical guys car show i love this stuff sponsor me um uh, this stuff works great i've been using it for the past i would say almost year now and uh so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to fill up this bucket with water and soap and then i'm going to spray off the car with just water just to get off all the dirt and then anything i can get off um, and then so once my timer runs out then i'll start using my bucket of soapy water and my mitt to go over all that so let's get rock and rolling So as you can see, the wheels look a lot better. Of course, they're still wet, um, but I was running around with the camera trying to make sure that I got everything I wanted to and I actually ran out of time. So these exhaust tips still look super dirty right now, but that's because I ran out of water right about here on the car. So I got water coverage on all or most of it, so that's the main thing is just getting off all the dirt. So if you come look at this exhaust tips, they look a lot better. Boom, let's get in the sunlight. 
way better. So this is just a quick wash because um, we are coming closer and closer to December and I'm about to head home for winter break. So I won't be up at school and then I'll actually be able to wash my car how I really want to. So this is just like a quick temporary wash and for me to inform y'all on how I wash my car. So next step would be is we're gonna take our soapy bucket right over here. As you see, I made a mess and I'm gonna cover the entire car with soap and try to get all the spots I missed. But I'm definitely not gonna get that exhaust soot on my glove. So let's get rock and roll. So now I have finished uh, taking my uh, car washing glove. I've gone over all the paint and all the uh, dirty surfaces with the uh, chemical guys, car washing soap, and it also looks really good. So next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a couple more quarters and wash off all the soap. Mm, it looks good. Going on to our final step here, we're going to wash off the car with microfibers and I, I my buddy Zach actually gave me these because uh, he got them for free, But um, uh, so thank you Zach, shout out to you. I like to use pretty much all brand new microfibers when I go through. I do have some old microfibers in there that I keep in there and I wash them on a regular basis, but having new microfibers is always nice, so on to the final step. All right, me and Allison have gone all the way around the car. The car looks a lot better now. Don't be calling me out. I know my chin spoiler's popping off. I just haven't had the time or um, the space to retighten it. But either way, the car looks really good. It cleans up very well. I'm just gonna leave my wheels wet. Um, if you didn't already know, so I live in Stephenville currently right now, and this is the cowboy capital of the world. And if you look around this place, it's hella dusty. So the second I go drive this, it's all gonna get dusty and dirty. But like I said, this is just a quick wash to show y'all what I do to keep my car this clean in Stephenville. So one little tip I wanna show you is if you come down here on the S197 Mustangs, water will gather up under here. Maybe, I don't think I've done on the other side. So you can see right down here, I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but what you can actually do is I like to put my rag right here and go. I don't know if I got that, but shot out all the water and now I can take my rag and wipe it all the way down. Okay, so this is gonna to conclude today's video. Uh, if you haven't already, go down and uh, like and subscribe. Uh, there's gonna be some very exciting content coming up uh, after this video. So if you uh, haven't subscribed, I suggest going down to subscribe so you don't miss out on the further content. If you guys did enjoy, go down, leave a uh, thumbs up. If you guys uh, have a different way of cleaning your car or have tips or tricks for me that I missed or that I could be benefiting from, leave them down in the comments. Uh, thank you guys. Brody Rides, out.